Hi, my name's Mike, and this is part two of Three Days of Darkness. Um, I was originally I was trying to video record it at home, but I got distracted, so um, I'll do it before I go to work. Um, right, I was talking about the time of Jonah. Jonah uh, was sent by God to Nineveh to preach to them, but uh, he refused. So when God sent a storm, Jonah jumped into the sea to calm the storm and God sent a huge fish to swallow Jonah. And he was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish. You can read that in the book of Jonah. And in Matthew twelve forty, we read, For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So, son of man, just remember that. Um, so as we read the sign of Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a fish, then Jesus, the son of man, was three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So as we read in Matthew 24, it gives the answer to our question, where is it written that there will be three days of darkness in the end days? It's not so obvious, but if you study the scripture and have Holy Spirit, you'll be, you will be able to understand let me read it to you now. In Matthew 24, 29 to 31, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man and then shall the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with the sound of a trumpet to gather his elect. So the sign of Jonah became the sign of the Son of Man. And the sign of the Son of Man was three days of, and three nights in darkness. So the sign of the Son of Man is just that, three days and three nights of darkness which will encompass the earth as it states that the sun and moon will be darkened. This is the time of the transformation of God's elect, just as it states in Isaiah chapter 60, 1 to 3. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples, but the Lord rises upon you and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Also, when we read Hosea 6.2, we see over how many days this transformation will occur. It says here in Hosea 6.2, After two days he will revive us. On the third day he will restore us that we may live in his presence. So three days. And it, and it matches up with Matthew 24 when it states that after the sign of the Son of Man, the three days of darkness, then Jesus will send his angels to gather his elect to live in his presence. Anyway, I leave it there and say, um, hopefully that's uh, um, some understanding about the three days of darkness. And um, I'll leave it there and say, um, anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please do so in prayer repentance. God bless you all. Bye-bye.